Courtney. No, <laughs> Louise. And this is um my Milo mug. <sighs> Welcome back. This week is insulation week. Woo! -hoo! When choosing our insulation, there's a couple options that we could have had, and we went with. Drum roll, please. No, I'll put it on the sound of things. Oh. <laughs> Sheep's wool! And Celotex. Yes, for the floors and the ceiling. So we chose Sheep's wool for a number of reasons. Obviously, we're trying to be as eco-friendly as possible. Um, and Eloise is a vegan. I am. So animals first. Animals first. And um, please know that I did my research into this, into where we got it from. I know there's some controversy about the care and handling of sheep. Uh, when taking their wool, but the truth is they do need to be sheared throughout the year, otherwise it's harmful to them. Yeah. So we did our research and we chose sheep's wool. Um, it has a great R value. True. It's eco-friendly. True. It's not toxic to breathe in. It's fire retardant. Is this four or five or four? Three. It's fire. Oh, four. <laughs> it's fire retardant. <laughs> it's fire retardant. Your your ring finger is a mess. I'm trying. You just pop it down, look. No, you're not normal. <laughs> and it can absorb um like a fair amount of moisture whilst keeping its same insulating properties which is great news because there will be some condensation in the van we should say there was a couple downsides to it um, when fitting it into areas in our van that didn't already have cavities mm -hmm. um, obviously gravity would pull it down because you can't just stick it on um, and it wasn't attached to anything else so we I don't know whether it's wrong, people will probably watch and be like, what have they done? <laughs> but we basically just make shifted some wire that held it in place. Yep. But it did take us a while to figure that out. And the floor, we built a, a wooden frame, gridded in a way that we would be able to screw into it with like our bed and our kitchen cabinets and all sorts of things. Um, and then we used 50 millimeter Celotex, which was overkill, and now we wish we had used 25. But Eloise, you're the tallest in your five, five and a half, so we can stand up, and we're well clear of the ceiling. Yeah, but we would, we would definitely go, go smaller next time. But we, you live and you learn. Yeah, watch out for Milo 2.0. Is that it? I hope you enjoy the video. Good morning. So, um. Yesterday, I started putting down the insulation. So that's as far as we've got so far. Today, I'm hoping to finish it, although it's a bit more fiddly to cut it than I hoped. Um, it's pretty thick uh, and it's a bit of a weird material, so it takes longer than it should. Maybe it's just because I'm a bit crap, but I hope that by the end of the day, all of our insulation will be down and we will have the beginnings of a floor.
Good morning, we're doing our insulation today. We've got a couple more wires to run before we can get it all in. Um, but then we'll be go, go, go. Courtney's just cutting our insulation now, uh, trying to air it out, it smells a bit like a farm. And yeah, we'll update you as we go. Okay, it doesn't actually smell like a farm. I'm already covered in it. You can stay away. Meh, meh. It's freezing cold and it's getting a bit rainy and our hands aren't working and we've only just started but we're going to plow on through um i've just come to cut some last bits of insulation um our sliding door is the last bit that we need to do and then we can get some beams up and get going so it's another very exciting day for us come and see what we have to do so we're just starting putting our insulation in but we have these bits in the center where we can't actually fit it into anything. So we're just thinking of the best way to do that. We might use string, we might use wool, we might just drill some um, wood in there. So that's what we've been arguing about this morning. <laughs> we thought we had nailed it by putting diagonal stripes of elastic, um, but it still wasn't taut enough to the wool. So we've come up with an uh, additional idea of threading some garden wire through the top of the wall to hold it up so it doesn't sag down. Fingers crossed this works. Woo! She just came in and it's really not cold in here. That must mean that the insulation is doing its job already. So that's good news for us. If it can survive a British winter, I think it will do the rest. It's really coming together. That was this week's episode of Making Milo. Hope you enjoyed it. And we got two videos out two weeks in a row. Whoa, who do we think we are? Anyway, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell, comment below with a sheep. Meh, meh. If you liked today's video, <laughs> sheep emoji. And we'll see you next week.